So I've created this sample table called orders. We have just two columns here, order date and customer ID. The logic that we are going to use to solve this question is that we are going to find out the count of distinct order dates for each customer. So if the customer ordered on five distinct dates, the count is going to come out as five. Then we're going to find out the number of days in last month. So if the last month, let's say, was May, then the number of days should be 31. If the customer ordered 31 times, so if the customer ordered on 31 distinct dates in the last month, then he has ordered at least one order per day. So that is the logic that we're going to use here. Now I have data only for one month in this table. So I'm going to write a very simple query and then you can build upon this query further. So what we are going to write is first of all, we have to find out the count of distinct dates for each customer that can be done. We will do that later. But before that, let's see how we can find out the number of days in the last month. So for, for finding out the number of days in the last month, let's first go back to the last month. So just write a date add function. And in date add, we are going to subtract one month. So in terms of month M, we are going to subtract one month so minus one from the current date so get date so if we just execute this much portion what we are going to get is 12th of may so the we have just subtracted one month from the current date so today is 12th of june we have got now 12th of may now what we're going to do is for this particular date we are going to find out the last day of that month so for that we can use the end of month function I'm just going to use that function on top of this. And now if I execute this, I will get 31st of May, which was the last day of the previous month. And now I do not want it in a date format. I want the day. So I want to count that the customer ordered on 31 distinct days in May. So I'm going to use another function on top of this, which is going to be the day function, which is just going to extract the day number from this query. So I will have that output of 31 in my output so i'm just going to put this over here and what i'm going to get is 31 so this is what i'm going to use to find out the number of days in the last month now simple query in this case select star from orders and then what we're going to do we are going to group by the customer id because we have to find out those customers so let's select customer id over here and then what, because we are using a group by, we are using a having clause over here, having count of distinct order date, which is going to be equal to the number of days in the last month. So this particular function over here. Now, if I execute this query, I should not be getting any output because I have not created 31 records for each customer. So I'm just going to hard code this value over here. I've created records, five records for one customer. So he has uh, shopped for five distinct days. So if you just put five over here. So he has shopped for five distinct days in the last month. And that is what I should be getting in the output. So customer ID one shop for at least five distinct days in the month. So this is how you can use this query when you have 31 days and you use this particular condition, you will get data for all those customers who shop at least once every day in the last month.